ground and bogger. Well, that was absolutely calm. Hello, good evening and welcome to Dazza's Football Stand. The Borough take on Tottenham Hotspurs again, this time in the fifth round of the Emirates FA Cup. What a game this should be. I think it's going to be a very tough one. I think Spurs will probably just edge it. But if we can take this game to extra time, I would be more than happy. Even if we lost in extra time, I'd be more than happy. Uh, by the looks of it, it'll be Kane, Son and Kulazewski up front, which is a very good front three. They played really well against Leeds United. But I think we're better defensively than Leeds United are personally. So it's it's a massive game, I think, for both teams. Conte is under a lot of pressure. Will Spurs put in a good performance or will they be focusing more on the top six? I think that remains the question. But for Borough, we've got nothing to lose. Let's go out there, put out a brilliant performance. We could cause... A massive cup set. Who knows? Let's go and find out. Before we go into the actual vlog, we're going to speak to our mates Yusuf and also Jake Johnson and Ryan Richardson. So let's go and speak to them. Okie dokie, we're here with Yusuf for today's game. Yusuf, good to see you again. Nice we're against another London side. Obviously, you've travelled up from uh, Wembley. For those who don't yeah, know Yusuf, yeah. he travels up from Wembley every single home game now that is commitment i've got to say um tough game tonight very tough game but we beat united so why can't we beat tottenham cup tie anyone can beat anyone in a cup tie so I think yeah. as long as we give it a good atmosphere i think we'll be all right yeah do you think uh out of, just out of interest do you think that spurs will actually try and put in a good performance or do you think or do you think they'll focus more on the top six rather they than the cup. They will focus on winning the cup because it's the only competition they can win. Yeah. So, of course, they're going to try their best. So, I think they're going to, a bit like United, you know, they're going to try their best. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a tough game. We're going to have to ride our luck today. And I'm confident if we keep it tight at the back, I think we'll nick one. Yeah. At that uh, end. What's your score prediction for tonight? 2 1 to the Mighty Borough. Right. Tough game. And I think uh, Balogun's going to score a winner in the second half and uh, show what he, what he can do. Fair enough. Thank you, Bell. Thank all you. All the best. Enjoy. All the best. Right, so we've had Yusuf on. He's confident, going for a 2-1 win for the Bubba. Joining me is Jake Johnson and Ryan. How are you, Paul? I'm great, you? How are you? Yeah, you all right? Right. Good? Yes, good. Are you confident for tonight's game? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, Tottenham, really good team. I, I think they're better than United, I'm not going to lie. Uh, no I'd agree, no, I'd agree. No, no thank you, by the way. I would agree. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a really tough game. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be easy. Premier League team. Uh, yet again, but we're at the Riverside at the moment. I mean, we're doing so well at the Riverside at home. Uh, away, not so great, but I'm really glad that this game is at home because what, like, is it still out today? Yeah, it's still out. But yeah. um, 34,000 Borough fans are going to be. Oh. <laughs> sorry, don't worry, don't worry, sorry. Don't worry. Right, back to where we were. Carry on, what were you saying? But, yeah. <laughs> 34,000 Borough fans going to be chanting for Borough today. Yeah. I str strongly believe that we're going to win today. Uh, I don't think we're going to win it through normal time. I think we're going to go through extra time, not going to score. We're going to go to penalties and we're going to win on penalties today. We're going to win it. We're going to win on penalties. Fair I'm enough. telling you, I'm telling you, penalties today. <laughs> Very confident, aren't you? Uh, Ryan. Hello. Hello, hello. Good hello. to have you on. Thank you. Um, what are your thoughts for today? I'm very excited. I've been excited for a long time, ever since the Man United game. I was wondering who we were going to get next. I was hoping it would be Forrest. You know, even if we didn't win against Forrest, one of us would be up there. Nice to see uh, someone different in the in the, the, the later stages for once. But I'm very excited for this. I hope we can do him over. Look at him, smirking. He knows as well the spirits here. Everyone's <laughs> buzzing for this. As you can look around, everyone's buzzing for this. Yusuf's buzzing. Everyone's happy. It's about time we had someone like this coming to the Riverside. Would you say that we stand more of a chance of beating Spurs this season than compared to 2020? Yes, definitely. Obviously, um, last time out we, we were struggling uh, near the bottom of the table. Luckily, yeah. we stayed up in that season because of Neil Warnock. But now with Wilder in charge, we're playing so much better football than we were. And um, I mean, I strongly believe that Wilder is going to... Wilder is going to play his cards and uh, yeah we're going to get a big massive win today. Fair enough, Ryan, do you agree? On paper yes, but in theory no. It's the <laughs> FA Cup isn't it? Anything can happen. Yeah. I'd like to see him win. I do think we've got a good chance. 
Yep. You know, at the end of the day, you can say what you want about them being in the Premier League, being in Champions League final a few years ago. Yeah. Well, some, you know, it's on paper, but it's not even on paper now, is it? It's it's on the field now. It's about who turns up on the night. Tonight is the night, and we'll see what happens. You know, hopefully we can do it. I think we can do it. We've got it in us. Um, yeah. Put it this way: if, uh, um, if we beat Barnsley at the weekend, I think we might not have um, expected a win tonight. But I'm I'm really confident going into this. I think the fans need something to cheer about. And I think tonight's the night for uh, one of Fair those enough. amazing Bora nights that goes down in history. Score prediction? I'm gonna say. 2-1, Matt Crooks, 94th minute header. Right, uh, It's going to go 1-1, um, and then uh, throughout extra time, no goals, and then we're going to go to penalties, and we'll beat them 6-5. Uh, oh, you've got, you're guessing the penalty score as well now. <laughs> yeah, double, double whammy. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, lads. Thank, thank you. you very much. All the best. Cheers, Jasmine. Cheers, thank you. Thank Let's you. go. <laughs> he gets stuck this time. Yes! <laughs> 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 on the ball, he's played in towards Kane, wait, he's missed it! <laughs> I will say by the way, I think the stats are, are really good at the minute, no shots from either team. Oh. First coming forward with numbers, it's Madotti, Lumley's come out, well done Lumley! Lumley every time, man. Lumley comes out, thinks he's got it under control, completely misses the ball. The bloody line. And Matt Dotti's missed an open goal. Oh my god. Free kick for Bowen into the penalty area. It's Kak. Yeah, yeah. Do us a favour, by the way. Do drop a like and subscribe if you're new as well. That'd be marvellous. In the box of Spurs towards Ryan Sessignon. Oh, header was blocked. 
Played oh, out. God, Here's away. a shot. Oh, oh my! Oh. Spurs have had about two or three shots, I think, in this first half. We've had none. Nil nil to half time between Bow and Tottenham off Spurs. Considering we're against a really good Premier League side, I think we've done rather well. Defensively, we've cancelled them out. They've done well defensively, they've cancelled us out as well. Two really good defensive sides go on hammer and tongue against each other. No shots for Boa because we've been given limitless, well, limited opportunities, I should say. Uh, Spurs have had like two or three shots and wasted them all. Uh, I've said Son Kane and Kulosevsky is a, a trio up front, is uh, very dangerous. But I think our defence is doing really well. So hopefully second half uh, we see a goal and that will ignite the game completely. But 0-0 uh, to half time, on to the second half. And a free kick for the ball at the start of the second half, into the box. Headed by McNair, headed away. Oh dear, free kick for Spurs, right outside the penalty area. Here we go, it's Kane. Kane. It's Kak! He lost his footing! <laughs> he lost his footing, it was a Kak free kick. Go on, what more? Oh no. Oh, he's still got it! It's in the box, Pen! Oh, no way away! How's that not a pen? Come on, buddy! Bravo! Alright, can for the bow then. Thunderclaps around the stadium, come on, boys. In. Hit up! Oh! Macbooks! Macbooks, it's a free header. Gets his head underneath it. First fans are singing as well, but it uh, can barely be heard. Free kick for Spurs and it's Eric Dyer. And this is about the same 25 yards out. If not 30, good free kick. Oh, what a save! Oh, what a save! I tell you what, that was a brilliant free kick from Merrick Dyer. It may have been about 30 yards out, but he it's over the ball, it's gone into the top corner. What a save by Joe Lumley to his top right. Uh, to his top left, sorry. Brilliant save. Absolutely magnificent. In the box on the corner, headed towards goal, flicked on his end! came in and it was headed on the near post Tommy came put it into the net but uh, turns out it was offside I, didn't, I don't know, I, we haven't got the replays but I didn't think that was offside personally from where I was watching but oh well, listen to this atmosphere, unbelievable where the ball were where the ball were, where the me come on Cohen oh, Housen skips across the plate to the right hand side low pass, plate floor ball again, no Flo says, see you later, Flo's in. An opportunity to clean away. In the box. Yes! Oh, no! Kulazewski into the box. Headed by Son, straight to Lumley. Full time, nil nil, we're going to extra time. But I have to say, what a fantastic performance from the lads. We made a really good account of ourselves. It's really all I wanted. I mean, if we end up losing this, we can be very proud with our efforts today. We've done really, really well. We've cancelled Spurs out for a lot of the game. Uh, they've, had, they've had some really good chances, of Spurs, in that second half. Joe Lumley did well uh, with, with the saves. A, a brilliant save, by the way, from Eric Ty's free kick as well. We've had opportunities ourselves wasted. I think at the end of the day, I don't think either team's really deserve to win, so we're going to extra time. Let's see what the next 30 minutes brings us. Alrighty people, extra time's underway. Come on, come on. Spora in the box. Put it in. Yes! Oh! Head of his easy for Hugo Lloris. It's Ben Davis with a shot deflected. Oh no. Here's Bergman with the ball from the Spurs corner, chipped into the box. Punched away by Lumley, offside flag is up anyway though. Come on John, he's running down the right hand side. Get into the box. Play it! Nice steal, shoot! Shoot! Tap! Hit it! Shoot! Yes! Oh. Just 
done. They're just not shooting outside the box. Have a go. Come on, have a shot. It's cack. My fault, Coburn. Jones. Oh! Just about, just about gone to the waist. Have a go. Housen. Oh! We've had a shot from outside the box. Sweet. Bye! Bye.